today on Morning Prayer and Worship. I love you, Lord, with all my heart. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this, the first of his signs, in Cana of Galilee, and revealed his glory. I love you, Lord, with all my soul. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. We are yours, always yours, Lord. Lord, I just want to pray today for all those who need to rediscover joy. Welcome to Morning Prayer and Worship. I'm so glad that you're here today. This is Friday of Ordinary Time, proper 13 in the church calendar. There are links in the show description if that is unfamiliar to you. We want you to feel at home. We want you to be able to enter in. If you have a prayer request, you can always send that to benwardmusic.com slash prayer request. We'd love to pray for you. Thank you for your support. You can give financially, benwardmusic.com slash donate. You can also leave a review where you listen to podcasts. Thank you. If you are new, we follow the Daily Office, the Book of Common Prayer, begin with a worship song, a prayer of confession, a psalm, the gospel reading, Apostles' Creed, Lord's Prayer, Collect of the Day, the prayer we pray together collectively, and finally a time of free prayer. I love you, Lord, with all my heart. I love you, Lord, with all my soul. I love you, Lord, with all my mind. I love you, Lord, with all my strength. And as you sing over me, I sing right back to you. One moves my heart the way you do. I love my neighbor as myself. I love my neighbor, truth or lies they tell. I love my neighbor, weak or strong. I love my neighbor, right or wrong And when I don't understand What they're going through Help me love them, Lord, the way you do All our hearts are yours Always yours, Lord, we are yours. Always yours, Lord. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. I love my bitter enemy. 
I'll love them even when they make me bleed. I'll love them when it hurts so deep. Through the anger when I can't see. Oh, I may never know or see their point of view. But you help me, Lord, the way you do. All our hearts are yours, Lord. Every part, no, not known, they are yours. Always yours, Lord, we are yours. Always yours, Lord. Psalm 88. O Lord, my God, my Savior, by day and night I cry to you. Let my prayer enter into your presence. Incline your ear to my lamentation. For I am full of trouble, my life is at the brink of the grave. I am counted among those who go down to the pit. I have become like one who has no strength. Lost among the dead, like the slain who lie in the grave. Whom you remember no more, for they are cut off from your hand. You have laid me in the depths of the pit, in dark places and in the abyss, your anger weighs upon me heavily, and all your great waves overwhelm me. You have put my friends far from me. You have made me to be abhorred by them. I am in prison and cannot get free. My sight has failed me because of trouble. Lord, I have called upon you daily. I have stretched out my hands to you. Do you work wonders for the dead? Will those who have died stand up and give you thanks? Will your loving kindness be declared in the grave, your faithfulness in the land of destruction? Will your wonders be known in the dark or your righteousness in the country where all is forgotten? But as for me, O Lord, I cry to you for help. In the morning, my prayer comes before you. Lord, why have you rejected me? Why have you hidden your face from me? Ever since my youth, I have been wretched and at the point of death. I have borne your terrors with a troubled mind. Your blazing anger has swept over me. Your terrors have destroyed me. They surround me all day long like a flood. They encompass me on every side. My friend and my neighbor you have put away from me. In darkness is my only companion. I turn to you. I turn to you. I turn to you. I turn. I turn to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Our gospel reading this Friday of Ordinary Time, proper 13 in the church calendar, John 2, 1 through 12. On the third day, there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. 
When the wine gave out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, what concern is that to you and to me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servant, Do whatever he tells you. Now standing there were six stone water jars for the Jewish rites of purification, each holding twenty or thirty gallons. Jesus said to them, Fill the jars with water. And they filled them up to the brim. He said to them, Now draw some out and take it to the chief steward. So they took it. And when the steward tasted the water that had become wine and did not know where it came from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew, the steward called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves the good wine first and then the inferior wine after the guests have become drunk. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this, the first of his signs, in Cana of Galilee, and revealed his glory. And his disciples believed in him. After this, he went down to Capernaum with his mother, his brothers, and his disciples. And they remained there a few days. You revealed your glory, Lord. now you reveal your glory Lord won't you reveal it to us now this is the word of the Lord thanks be to God thanks be to God Amen I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. It is Friday of Ordinary Time, Proper 13 in the church calendar. Our collect of the day, the prayer we pray together collectively. Let your continual mercy, O Lord, cleanse and defend your church. And because it cannot continue in safety without your help, protect and govern it always by your goodness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. All our hearts are yours alone. Every part, known, unknown, they are yours. Always yours. Lord, we are yours, always yours, Lord. We're going to enter into a time of free prayer, pray specifically and by name for those in your life today, family, friends, acquaintances, co-workers, your own heart, your enemies, as Jesus commanded. 
burdens, whatever is in your heart, your mind, on your tongue. You also have freedom. Just sit and enjoy his presence or be comforted by the Holy Spirit. There is no pressure. There is freedom. Lord, I just want to pray today for all those who need to rediscover joy. Lord, I just pray that the joy of the Lord would be their strength. And maybe after a long time of suffering and heartache and brokenness, even in the midst of it, Lord, they would discover your joy your gladness, God. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. You dwell within us. You take up residence in us. And Lord, may your house, may your home in us be one of joy. I pray for joy today, Lord. you choose to bring it. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I love you, Lord, with all my heart. I love you, Lord, with all my soul. I love you, Lord, with all my mind. I love you, Lord, with all my strength. And as you sing over me, I sing right back to you. For no one moves my heart the way you do. Now with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen and amen. Go in the peace and the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit. Receive his joy today, and may his joy be your strength. Amen and amen. Thank you for your support. Benwardmusic.com slash donate. We need you and we thank you. Have a wonderful weekend. Let's pray together again on Monday. Bye-bye.